All right, got a quick review here of these BAY15D uh, LED bulbs, uh, which um, the seller claims to have a Cree, what they call a Q5 chip at the front, and then a bunch of uh, 5630 SMD chips around the uh, sides. Now, this is a negative review. The short version is don't buy. Um, so there's actually not a whole lot of point in continuing to watch, but if you're interested in seeing uh, why you shouldn't buy these, then go right ahead, and I'll just uh, quickly run through the problems. So the Bay 15D format is also known as a uh, P21-5W in its original filament form, uh, which means that it has a uh, dual filament arrangement for a low and a high power mode and the uh, numbers uh, in that code refer to the 5 watts for the lower power filament and 21 watts for the higher power filament and in the higher power mode you've got both filaments going so that's 21 plus 5 equals 26 watts of power um, so the LED uh, achieves this um, by using a full brightness and then a dimmed mode so okay no problem with the concept uh, but let's go on to some measurements um, using my digital multimeter here. So on the uh, high power mode, using uh, the high power contact on the base, we measure 240 milliamps. And on the other contact with uh, low, the low power mode, we get 70 milliamps. Okay, so this is working as you would expect. Um, the problem is that 12.05 uh, volts, that's what my power supply is, multiplied by 0 0.07 amps equals 0 0.84 watts for the low power. And um, the voltage multiplied by 0.24 amps equals 2.9 watts for the high power mode. Now that's quite a lot of wattage for an LED bulb to be drawing. Um, but here's the first problem. The, the ratio between 0.24 and uh, 0.07 is 3.4. That's the, uh, the multiple between the low and the high power modes. Um, but the ratio between 21 plus, plus 5, which is 26, and 5 is, uh, in the filament bulb is 5.2, which is obviously a lot more than 3.4. So the 5.2 is what the LED should be em emulating uh, but it's not. So the difference between the low and the high mode is far too small. Um, basically the low power mode is actually too bright. So the difference between it and the high mode is just not enough. And uh, when you've got this in the you know tail light cluster of a car and you're um, relying on the bulb, um, the bulb's high mode to be the brake light basically and the low mode is just the general tail light with the uh, brake light off then that difference, it's, it's just not enough. It's not, not going to draw people's attention as well as it should. So it's, it's really unfit for purpose. I'll just quickly show you this since I shot the footage and have it here to use anyway. Here's the testing bowl of truth. Uh, the uh, so-called Cree chip at the front shines through a lens and creates a very bright uh, forward projecting hotspot. Uh, while the SMD chips fill in a sort of all-around illumination on the sides. And that generally works okay in the usual situation where the bulbs are mounted in a uh, forward projecting manner. So I don't have a, have a huge problem with that. It's not ideal, but it works. Um, then the final uh, problem that I had with these bulbs is that I was using them uh, but uh, as a pair, but one of them died after about six months of use. Uh, just cut out, um, completely dead. And that is not atypical with my experience with uh, these Chinese bulbs that I've bought off eBay. The lower power ones tend to be fairly reliable, but as soon as you start getting into the higher power ones like this, they just, um, they're just not reliable. And they're not cheap either, they're actually um, quite expensive. So it's not like you could really just say, okay, well, we'll just you know replace them every six months or something. No, it's a false economy, you're better off uh, spending the uh, you know the, the higher price of um, the name brands like Philips Osram even though they are crazy expensive it's um, it would work out more economical in the long term okay so uh, that's a negative review but I thought I'd check it up here anyway have fun